Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I wasn't going to say anything, but in rules tonight, we had timely filed amendments. And we couldn't run our timely filed amendments. All the members of the Rules Committee know how that went down. There was no camera. So the people watching right now at home that are texting and tweeting and Facebooking about this nonsense, they didn't see what occurred in the rules meeting. But there were timely filed amendments that we offered in the rules meeting. And guess what happened in the rules meeting in this democratic chamber that loves votes and loves voters? Well, the members of the committee in the rules meeting, Mr. Speaker, and this is why we need to suspend the rules now. With our timely filed amendments, we were not allowed to vote on one of them. We offered three timely filed amendments. And Mr. Speaker, you and the majority leader know the nature of the rules of this institution do not provide us the opportunity to provide a timely filed amendment tonight. You're aware of that, because you made those rules. So here we are on a Friday night, glad to be at work, because we know our voters sent us here to fight this battle. And we can't even suspend the rules for one consideration of something that is very important. As the maker of the motion stated, we're talking about women dying. We're talking about more than half the population not being able to make decisions when not even half of this body has a uterus. That's what we're talking about tonight, and that's why these rules need to be suspended, because we don't follow the rules in this body. Let the people back home know. That's why the rules need to be suspended, Mr. Speaker. That is why the rules need to be suspended, Mr. Speaker, because we had timely filed amendments that were tabled. And in case you're watching, because so many are, as we heard from constituents, voters are watching, we filed them in a timely way so they could be considered in committee, which is what the majority leader likes to lecture my caucus about each and every legislative day. But here we are being silenced yet again. And understand when you're silencing us, we are actually elected officials like you all. So you're silencing millions of voters from every corner of the Commonwealth when you silence us and don't allow us to amend bills that won't let people vote, that won't allow women to make their own decisions. You're silencing all of us. So we need to suspend the rules and let this amendment come through before we rush this off to the voters. Those same voters that you tried to silence in 2020 when you didn't like the outcome of the election. Those same voters that you said Mr. it didn't Speaker. matter what they chose. Those are the people you're trying to shut up. General Lady, please suspend. In this undemocratic chamber that cares so much tonight about voters and rushing off a constitutional amendment to voters, we need to suspend these rules because we want it to make this better. If we're going to get a product to voters as early as the primary in 2023, then let's work on a product that explains to voters what these issues are. Let's not jam them all through on one very convoluted question that they may receive in the future. If we want to care about the voters, we need to suspend the rules because the voters elected Tom Wolf. The voters elected us to legislate, not rush amendments down the turnpike to their voting booth at the next primary off-year election. So I ask everyone to support the gentle lady from Montgomery County's motion to suspend these rules.